Hello, everybody. Welcome to our Q&A for Channel Z. And Zam, I am Athena Actipus, the host of Zombified and the chair of the Zombie Apocalypse Medicine Alliance. And I am Dave lundberg Tenrick, the co-host of Zombified and the media outreach program manager at ASU and zombie enthusiast. How you doing, Athena? I'm doing pretty good. How about you, Dave? I'm doing well. I'm uh, excited for the conference that we're now going to do all digitally. So do you want to tell us about that? Yeah, well, I've got a question for you first, Dave, which is, have you been Zoombified? <laughs> uh, a bit. So in good ways and bad, oh, I think. So. What, are the, what are the good sides of being Zoombified? Well, I mean, I think it's really nice to still be able to connect with people when I can't really see people, but then it's also exhausting. Like I find if I have multiple Zoom meetings in a day, I need a nap. I don't know. I like I, it's it's way more exhausting than talking to people in person. So, how about you? Have you been Zoomified? I I totally agree. I mean, I'm so grateful that we have technology that allows us to connect to people despite you know the distance that we have to keep. But it is really hard to be on a Zoom call. I mean, like some days, like I'm spending all day just in call after call after call and, and it's exhausting, so. Yeah, so. Um, yeah. And, and so this is, I mean, this is really part of why we're um, thinking about the zombie apocalypse medicine meeting in the fall and how to run it in a way that will not be Zoombifying, right? That's That's right, so. I mean, it will still be online, but we're going to have a mix of sort of pre-recorded and live things. And then we're going to have ways for people to chat with us, right? So. Yeah. Yeah. So we're we're thinking about a, a model where we've got some shows that are pre-recorded, which we're actually starting to work on now. We have um, Go Bag Challenge with Emily Zarka. We've got uh, Late Night Brains, which is going to be a sort of version of our podcast, but in a late night show format. Um, uh, we have Dr. Zed, which will be a, a doctor uh, show, kind of like Dr. Oz, but in the zombie apocalypse. Yep. Yeah, so, and um, and it's going to be fresh in terms of the the look. Um, so we have a awesome illustrator Neil Smith. He does all of our Zombified podcast covers, and um, we're working with him to create the um, the the world um, that we're all going to live in for for Channel Z. Yeah, and I think he's doing a great job. Now, did he make the? Did he do the animation on the Sam? front page? With the um, hand. Uh, so he did those illustrations and then we worked with a, an animator to, to put that together. So it's really nice. So yeah. Oh. Yeah. So we want to open this up to everyone for any questions about Channel Z and Zam. Um, I see there's a question here from Erica O'Neill. Um, she asks, um, is this similar to how the ZAM meeting will look in the fall? And um, the answer is, uh, it. this is similar to part of the ZAM meeting. Um, we're going to be having a show, Undead Live, which is essentially news in the zombie apocalypse, um, which will also be the way that a lot of um, the plenaries are um, presented. And um, we'll, be, we'll be showing some other um, information through Undead Live. So um, Undead Live will look something like this, except it will have um, more uh, ZAM and Channel Z based um, images that are sort of embedded with, within it and um, watermarks and things like that. And I see here, there's a, there's a question here from Charlotte Kendall. Dave, are you in a bunker right now? <laughs> Basically, I am. Uh, well, I'm on campus, and uh, so which is like we're kind of still on lockdown, and so I can I can leave, but uh, you know I've got to put all my gear on before I go outside. So until then, I'm locked in here with my little jars of food and uh, my books, and so this is my safe haven. So. So, Dave, what kind of protective gear do you have to um, put on before you uh, venture out into the zombie apocalypse? Well, it's really just 
a mask, you know, is the main thing. And then also sunblock because it's still Arizona. And uh, I, it's like 120 degrees. That might, I don't know which is the bigger risk these days. Um, so you've got your mask for the, the zombie virus, and then you've got your sunblock for the apocalypse. Right. And often I'll have a, a big hat on, and so you can't really see much of my face. So, um, so yeah, that's, uh, that's my protective gear. So. Yeah. So, uh, Dave, I've got a, another question for you, actually, which is what part of Channel Z are you most excited about? You know, is it one of the shows we're doing? Is it something about the approach that we're taking? What are you most jazzed about? Um, well, I, uh, I'm most jazzed about, I mean, I love the content. And then I also think, you know, it's been really fun doing the Zombify interviews. Like we've had some really interesting people that we've talked to. And so now being able to sort of bring this into the video world, I think it's going to be really fun and exciting. And, uh, and also some of these new features, like being able to have chats right here with people asking, let's see, we've got Rob asking why I'm not, I think it's why I'm not wearing a hat and sunblock and sunglasses. I'm not quite sure, but uh, it's exciting. I think it'll be really, this opens up new ways to communicate. And so I think- Yeah, I agree. I think it's, it's a super exciting realm that we're getting pushed into. And I have to be honest, like when the pandemic hit and it was like, okay, you know, you can't really be in person with people or like close to them. Because I mean, the whole podcast, the whole idea was we're only doing, you know, in person where we can like be face to face. And that was such an important part for me of the podcast. And I was like, oh, we're not going to be able to do that anymore, at least not in that way. Um, but then I think, you know, kind of just when we stepped back and said, okay, well, what can we do? Like, how can we make something that is fun and exciting? And, you know, instead of like some sort of substitute um, for zombified, like what can we do that is, um, that is taking it to another level and using what, what is available, you know? And so I kind of feel like with the, with channel Z, it's sort of this cross between what we've been doing with zombified and then the zombie apocalypse medicine meeting, which also we can't do in person, but we can kind of meld them into this fun approach of channel Z, which is this kind of alternate reality of, you know, the zombie apocalypse, it's TV and the zombie apocalypse. Um, but it's also a way for us to share our brains like about all of these issues that have to do with zombification and the apocalypse and, you know, hum humanity and, you know, what we're all even doing here. Right. I think it's also really interesting because as we started doing zombified, a lot of it was sort of about almost like latent zombification, sort of low level, like, you know, how is social media zombifying us? And what would happen if there was some sort of apocalypse? And now we've suddenly had this thing that's been this huge quarantine thing. Like Charlotte was just asking that the infection rate is higher every day. We have like, so we've got, we've got an actual infection going on, an actual pandemic. And so it seems it's really timely and sort of, and even as you were talking about Channel Z, how it's a way that we're sort of rebuilding in the face of this new reality. Uh, that's one of the topics we've always sort of been talking about sort of hypothetically, and now they're coming to pass where it's like, all right, how are we rebuilding? And so I think it'll be really interesting to talk to people about how everything is changing, how medicine and art and all these things are changing in the, in the shape of this new reality. So. Yeah, I totally agree. And, and, you know, we're kind of walking this interesting line with channel Z, which is we're kind of, you know, referring to a lot of things that are actually going on, but oftentimes we're using the language of zombies and the zombie apocalypse to kind of couch it in something that is more creative, more imaginative, leaves open options in terms of, you know, how we interact about it, how we talk about it, leaves more space for humor. Um, so, so I think it'll be really interesting actually to see how everything plays out with, um, the launch of Channel Z as part of ZAM. Cause you know, for the first ZAM meeting, we had just 
amazing talks that were, you know, sort of all over the spectrum in terms of um, the extent to which people um, gave their presentations in the frame of the zombie apocalypse itself. So we had some people who were, um, you know, giving their talks totally like straight face, like we're in the zombie apocalypse now. This is how we, you know, uh, dealt with IRB, given that they wouldn't approve us using zombies as subjects because they couldn't give consent. So some people were just totally, you know, like everything was we're in the zombie apocalypse now. And then other people, you know, they talked about um zombies and zombification, um, but, you know, not necessarily um, giving sort of the the full embeddedness like we're in the zombie apocalypse. So so it'll be interesting to see how that goes, because I think with Channel Z, we're creating more of a world now where there is a zombie apocalypse. And, um, and, I, and I think part of the fun of it is, you know, we're setting up this world where part of the question is like, what kind of zombie apocalypse are in? We're we're in. We don't know. And part of why we're having the meeting is to try to figure out, you know, what is the nature of the zombie apocalypse that we're in? And and one of the big questions on Channel Z is just, what's what's going on? We don't know what's going on. Something <laughs> something <laughs> something's going on. <laughs> so so Erica asked about, is any of the programming going to be released to the public either during the conference or afterwards? Do you want to address that real quick? You know. Yeah, so we're super excited that we're going to be able to put all of this together as part of Channel Z and ZAM. And eventually, um, all of the um, all of the high production value programs that we made will will eventually get released to the public through um, YouTube and um, through a lot of the other uh, stream services that we're going to have access to. Um, but ZAM itself um, is going to be the launch of Channel Z, and we're going to release a, a bunch of programming during those three days. And um, anybody can actually sign up for ZAM and um, for that, you know, three-day streaming of Channel Z, where you'll get to see all of these shows that we create um, during that time. You'll be able to interact with us live through um, all the streams that we're doing for Undead Live. And you'll also have access to um, all of the um, short um, and medium length talks that people submit. Um, and we'll be creating a program um, for channel or for, um, for ZAM that will include sort of both this higher production value programming that we're creating, the access to the parts that are live streamed, um, and then also all of these talks that um, the presenters are um, going to be submitting. So, so basically there's sort of two, two phases. There's ZAM, which is gonna be October 15th through 18th, and it's going to be just packed with this programming and these sort of live interactive things that we'll be, we'll be doing um, and talks. And then after ZAM is over, we will be slowly releasing the higher production value programming to the general public. Um, and part of our goal with this higher production value programming is to make a lot of the interdisciplinary science that we're doing as part of the Zombie Apocalypse Medicine Alliance really accessible to general audiences and, and to make it really fun. So, well, cool. Well, uh, thank you guys for commenting. And thank you guys for joining us. Yeah, it's been really fun to get to uh, chat with all of you through StreamYard and this live stream. And I am really looking forward to seeing all of you at ZAM 2020, which will be October 15th through 18th. All right. All right, get ready to get zombified, y'all. <laughs> yes. <laughs> See ya, Zena. Bye-bye.